And when we isolate ourselves, number one, you don't mix with the right people. Nobody says don't give dawah to the wrong people. Please, please, don't ask me that question after. Give dawah if it means to the devil. All right? That's our job. Invite to the way of Allah with wisdom. But we got to be very concerned. A lot of people believe it's, you know, it's... Let me take my glasses off. A lot of people may feel very offended, but you know, mashallah, mashallah, alhamdulillah, forgive me if I say anything wrong. A lot of people think it's very elite to live a segregated, isolated life. Oh, it makes us look elite. So you look for properties to go where nobody lives. You live to go, like to go somewhere where only you live. What was the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu where, how far did he live from the masjid? Whom do we follow? You want to follow? Listen, when you come to America, take the good from America. Don't follow that crap. Oh, I got to go and live in a piece of land where only donkeys and cows and live. And you're far from the masjid. You, you're far from the community. Nobody knows who you are. When you die, you're just gone. Well, nobody says. The Sahabas used to live close to the masjid. As soon as they opened their doors, they could walk by. Today, a lot of us strive to live far from the masjid. Far from the community. And what do we think it's? Elite. Well, technically, yeah, I think you should call that delete. You automatically delete it from the community. And you delete yourself. You're not elite, you delete. Press the delete knob. Because nobody knows you. When, I, when we announced Brother Abdullah passed away, Sister Fatima passed away. Yeah, go down to the cemetery. Nobody, because nobody knows who is Sister Fatima and Abdullah. They know another Fatima and Abdullah, and they say, Oh, I thought you died. It's not you, eh? Abdullah said, No, no, no. He said, All right, well, then there's somebody else. We don't know who is that. So much care. But if we're in the society, in the community, it's not. No, nobody says don't go and find a nice place and buy a house on an acre or 10 acres or 40 acres. I don't care how many acres it is. Cows could eat the grass and you eat the grass too. No problem. Have enough grass that you and the cows can all eat together. But at least you have driving distance. You can drive your motor car to the masjid. You can drive your motor car to the activities. Not because you live far, think it's elite, we disconnect. What's going to happen to the janazah? Who's going to come to the janaza? What will be the numbers? Four and five? As opposed to 40 and 100? Come on, we're going according to the sunnah here. That's why the Prophet ﷺ encourages people, one of the rights of a Muslim when he dies, attend his janaza. So Allah tells the living people go to the janaza. I mean the Prophet ﷺ. This is a serious issue here. And it's happening a lot here now in America. And the Prophet and Islam has been designed as we connect with the community that when we die, in addition to the Prophet telling people to come, people automatically come. Oh, we think it's elite. We don't want to. Listen, if you have a wife, children, or wives, you know, well, even wives, the more wives you have is the more confusion, eh? No problem. If you can handle it, you handle it, no problem. It's permissible, inshallah, mashallah. <laughs> and I say that with a lot of depth. Ah, astaghfirullah. I gotta say astaghfirullah to everyone as well. When you get the stress and the problems. You have brothers, you have sisters, you will have problems. You will have little technicalities. It's not always a bed of roses. So yeah, in the masjid you might have someone who say you're too tall, you're too short, you talk too much, you talk, what? so what? You will go and live an elite away from the community so when you die, nobody comes to your janazah. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the Quran and Sunnah where there is more fadail and more virtues. Do you think people are going to leave and drive 100 miles or 40 miles to come to your janazah? Unless it's really a brother, your sister or someone very, 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 very close. Not the community. You're definitely not going to make the 100 people far less for 1,000. See? So much care. And why am I reminding myself and that? Myself and you with that? Because that's connected to the Prophet when he passed away. 
You know, when the Prophet Sallallahu passed away, he passed away on Monday morning, 12th of Rabiul Awal. According to Muhaddithin, he was not buried until two days after. Some say late Tuesday night, meaning night, but they did not really meant night, they meant Wednesday morning. And a lot of the Muhaddithin says, no, it was Wednesday night. It took two, three days. People kept on coming to give their darood, to give their salutation unto the professors. So many people, so many people, so many people. Some of us live, they don't even know if we are alive or we are dead. Some of us live in and we look like we are dead. Now, have you ever heard about the walking dead? Yeah. You don't want to live a life like a walking dead. That we are living and people think we are dead. We have no use to ourselves and no use to the family and no use to the society. Anyhow, I'm not looking at the clock. Ten minutes to conclude, inshallah. Second khutbah will continue. Bathe in line, inshallah.